Anybody who's been to Seattle and missed Alaskan Way, the old waterfront has missed the point. Here are the totem pole stores, the waters of Puget Sound, washing under the piers, the dark gloomy look of ancient warehouses and pier sheds, and the most antique locomotives in America, switching boxcars up and down the waterfront, give me a hint under the pure cloud mop sparkling skies of the northwest of great country to come. What I love about beaches is you have to walk along and just find all sorts of stuff washed up, you know, like little tennis balls that you, you might throw to the, the passing dog that's running along, you know, to play with, or um, here's something else that I picked up. See that? I picked that up on the beach. Do you know what that is? Of course you know what that is. That's, um, that's a dogfish egg. That's uh, an egg of a little fish which is related to a shark. And he lives in there and grows and then he he eats his way out and swims away and I just love finding these things you know this is a this is called um, a mermaid's purse as well but it's it's really the egg of a dogfish I'm on this uh, bit of beach now and there's uh, a bit of sand as you can see it's quite unusual around here because it's normally all stones I know Andy I know you found um, some sand on your videos I thought wow Andy's got a, a sandy beach down there in Hastings and all I've got is boulders but um like you say, it's only at low tide and it's, it is low right now. I just wanted to say hello to you, Andy. Um, I really like some of your videos. I find some of them quite interesting. I was watching that uh, long tail video the other day when you were saying there's always somebody watching. Well, maybe. Um, and I think the other thing about YouTube is that there's something on there for everyone. You know, it's such a diverse community and it's, it's gotten so much that when I used to want to find something, I'd look on some, go straight to Google and look for it. What I do now is just go to YouTube and find a, try and find a video clip of it. It's just so nice to see where I'm going or where I'm going to be or what a place looks like and things like that. As I was saying, the other thing about YouTube is there's something there for everyone. But there's no accounting for taste, is there? I, I look at some of this stuff that's on there and some of it I think, you know, what, what is this stuff on here? And, who's watching this and the people who put that stuff up sometimes they have like hundreds or thousands of subscribers and I sit there and I watch this stuff and think what on earth is this but like I say no accounting for taste that's just one of the great things about YouTube isn't it anyway Andy thanks for putting that stuff up I really enjoy it I like to see you on the beach at Hastings I'm not sure if you've got any cliffs down there do you have any cliffs in Hastings I've only been there once when I went on a bit of a trip and Something that was very, very interesting to me in Hastings was I came past a garden on a bus. It was a sheltered garden, and I swear to God, there was an Apuntia cactus growing in this front garden. Anyway, Andy, thanks a lot. I'm going to keep watching your videos. They're really good. Now, this is the reason why I came down to this beach today. This is something I wanted to show you. Something I've been able to catch ever since I was a little kid. <laughs> and this fish can you see that that fish is a blenny that's a blenny it's a little rock pool fish and I guess I guess I just never grew up you know and that beautiful little fish I think that's a female because it's obviously spawn bound look and I just love fish and aquatic environments and I just this is just my passion, you know? This, these things are just... These things are a real passion for me. Let's, let's go and put her back in the sea, where she belongs, in a nice big rock pool. But I, I just wanted to show you that, you know? This is the pool that I fished her out of. And um, I guess I just never grew up, you know? I, I just love... I just love to... Um, I love fish, I love to be able to... Um, yeah, what can I say? I got up and I switched the computer on. I went to YouTube and somebody had left, there were two comments on there this morning and they really lifted my mood. And I think that's probably one of the main things about YouTube for me. It's just so encouraging to see these things. You know, people write how they like to see your world and, and things like that. And one of the people who left a comment was Shipwreck Silence and I think that's a really good name for a, a YouTube account, Shipwreck Silence. It just, it just great. It makes me feel of the beach, you know, it makes me think about the beach. And it's really nice to see your videos, to, to see 
a slice of somebody else's life 